Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Connie and you have landed in the Connie's Country Barn. And today I am going to do a little bit of a haul for you. It's kind of a collective haul. I went to the thrift store, I've been to uh, a rummage sale, and I went to the Amazon bins. I don't know if I'll show you guys that or not. It's mostly in boxes. But let's go ahead and get started. If you like this kind of video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and a like. And I also have an update. If you guys seen my mystery box unboxing in my last video, I did some comps on the clothes and I'll give you an update on that too. All right, so let's see. First, one of the things I got and I am dropping stuff already uh, one of the things I picked up from the rummage sale was these shorts and they're by Redhead and they're for men. Now I've bought Redhead in the past thinking that it was not going to sell and it actually went really quickly for me on eBay. And I believe those were jeans. So this is a pair of cargo shorts, really nice. Uh, size 48 for men so I'll be listing these on eBay and on Poshmark the funny thing is when we went to the rummage sale we had our Ikea bag and the lady as we were checking out she's like oh you must be a reseller and I'm like yeah <laughs> I thought all my clothes gave it away that I picked up and I didn't even think about the Ikea bag and she's like, yeah, the Ikea bag gives it away every time. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, whatever. This is a skirt I picked up. This is uh, by Eddie Bauer. It is size 16. I actually have three of these, but one I already listed. And they're in really, really good condition. And I thought they'd be really cute for spring. The other one that's already listed I have on Poshmark and I think I put it on eBay as well and it's a lighter blue with darker flowers. This is uh, more of a kind of darker flowers on it. So I thought those were cute. Both of these are the same size. So I'll probably list one on eBay and one on Poshmark and then I'll cross list to Macari as well. And then this is, I got this from the thrift store. This is an extra large Pacific Legend apparel and made in Hawaii. And I thought this was really cool. This is a men's, it has uh, guitars all over it. And the print is really what drew me in. And I think this might be a vintage. It looks like a vintage tag. I could be wrong on that. But I have not done any comps on this stuff yet because I just went to the thrift store yesterday and then um, some of the stuff from the garage or the rummage sale I already got listed but this other stuff I haven't listed. Uh, the skirts I think I went ahead and the skirt I went ahead and listed I think it was like $15-$20 dollars or something like that. Um, this is from the thrift store haul yesterday, and it's by Real Legends. It's extra, extra large, and it's a fishing shirt. So this is the season for fishing. The guys will be getting their gear. So if you have anything fishing, this is the time to get it listed. And you know it's fishing because it'll have this flap in the back, and then it usually has all these pockets. And it has this like mesh material, if you can see that on there. So not all fishing shirts are created equal. So I'm just picking up different ones. I sold a lot of them last year, but things change from year to year as, for, as far as brands go and what sells. So, and then it'll also have this little piece back here. So I like picking them up as long as they're in good condition and I'm not seeing any stains or anything. I still have to uh, steam all these. 
I just want him to hang them up and maybe get some of the wrinkles out to fall out. This is Hillary Radley. This was also picked up yesterday at the thrift store. It is brand new with tags. And that looks like that. It's really, really pretty. Perfect for spring. I'm definitely in the spring mode. I'm tired of picking up winter items, even though it's still cold here. Um, they keep calling for snow. Fortunately, it has not done it yet. We're at the end of March, but we can get snow all the way into April. So we'll see. So I thought that was really pretty. And being new with tags. And they don't have an original price, but that doesn't always mean anything. It could be like $150 and only resell for $25. This really caught my eye. How could you not grab this if you see it? I mean, this was just screaming, hello, pick me up. You better come get me. Uh, I think it's a biker shirt, a biking shirt. I'm not sure. It is Easy Rider, Easy Rider, Primal, Primal Wear. It's an extra, extra, extra large. It does not look that big. And then on the side, it says, don't hurt the dirt. Then on the back, it has these pockets. I did kind of do a really quick search on Poshmark and it looked like somebody had one of these up for $75. I don't know if that's what they sell for, but that is what I comped it at. But I will do some more research on that. And you could ask $75 all day, but it could only go for five. So I think it's a biking shirt. So if you guys know for sure, let me know down in the comments below. But I thought this was cool. The colors just kind of drew me in. And that little frog. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Is he supposed to be on a bike? I don't know what he's on. I don't know the deal with that, but I had to get it. Next thing I picked up was also from the thrift store was this Ted Baker. It says size five. And even though it is kind of a plane, I thought it was really cute with this little ruffle on the side. And I know ruffles are really big in this year. And it's just a kind of a plain t-shirt. But I was kind of flipping through the comps today and not looking up this exact same one. And it looks like it could go for about $35. So we'll see once I get more into getting the comps together. This one is Banana Republic, size large. And it also is new with tags. Um, it originally was $68, but like I said, it could go for five. I don't know. I still have to do the comps. It is uh, checked and it has this little fringe detail on the top, on the sleeves, it is sleeveless, and then fringe detail on the bottom. I thought this was really, really cute. It's the back and it does have a button in the back this is really pretty it's called its name is majorel major major majorel size large this is what the tag looks like i don't know how to say that but this is really really pretty and it is a crop style with ruffles it is see-through so you'll need uh, something under there. It has the ruffle on the sleeve and it is floral. This is cottage core. And then there is another word out there that's floating around and I cannot remember what it is. I will put it on the screen. And um, I just heard about it the other day. I'll put it on the screen, but I, I think that would work for this too. And then it has the ruffle in the back as well and yellow flowers. I thought that was really, really pretty. So, 
And then this, I don't know if I'm actually going to sell or if I'm going to keep it because Tord doesn't go very well for me. It is a size one and uh, it's just uh, a little cami type thing. And Tord doesn't go that well for me and especially for a cami. I know I wouldn't get much out of it, but I could wear it for myself. And I haven't decided. I'll look up comps and see what comps are looking at like right now, but it's possible I may keep this. We'll see. This I thought was just absolutely beautiful. I am not one to do dresses. They just sit for me forever, but I had to get this. I don't know. It was just calling my name. It is by Aster and it is new with tags. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look at this dress. I'll give you an up close look. Look how pretty this is. I could see someone buying this for summer and wearing it to a wedding as a, maybe a bridesmaid or even as a wedding dress. If you're just having a very simple wedding, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I am a sucker when it comes to late, when it comes to ruffles. Absolutely beautiful. It has a zip back and it made it even better with new with tags. There is not one mark on here, no stains. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. Absolutely beautiful get the whole thing in there hope you guys can get this so pretty so I had to get this okay um, next we have this was a pickup from the rummage sale and it is foot joy golfing is another thing that people are buying for and foot joy usually does pretty good for me I usually can get 15 20 dollars out of it and this is just a striped men's shirt. I love the fabric on it. This is another foot joy. And this is an extra large. That's what, what it looks like. And it's a dark blue. And it has the FJ on the back. My, it's messing with my lighting. Usually dark colors do that. So I was happy to find those. I like to find the golfing shoes as well because I do pretty good with those too. But I'm very, very particular on the ones that I pick up as far as golfing shoes go. I've had these that I picked up. I have to clean them up. These are actually by Adidas, but I have to clean them up. And these aren't in bad condition. I try not to get them if they are like really wrinkled at the top. But the bottoms look pretty darn good. I've picked these up a long time ago. I think over the winter and I was waiting for around now to get them listed. I just have to try to clean them up and see what I can do about getting them all shiny and pretty. But these are Adidas. But I do like the foot joists. I do like picking those up. And I usually do really good with those. This is another uh, um, rummage sale find. This is Ping and it's 100% Pima cotton, size large. And this is a golfing shirt. I think this is a vintage golfing shirt because this one is pure cotton. And I believe this might be a vintage one, but it's in really, really good condition. So they can wear this when the weather is cooler, like in the spring, like we are now, because it's a little bit heavier weight than those. So I got that one. And then this is American Legacy. I picked this up a while back at Goodwill for half off. And I was just kind of waiting a little bit for spring, summer to get here so I can list this. 
I know I can list this stuff now, but I don't have a lot to list, so I, I only do a few clothes um, at a time. And I try to keep some of them, like if it's closer to a summer item, then I try to keep those to the side and I'll list them later. So this will probably get listed like probably April next month because it may go like for 4th of July. It gives them a couple of months to find it. This is Ellen Flusser. This was a rummage sale find as well. And this is a size medium. Allen Flusser is, it's a hit or miss brand, I think. Um, that's what it looks like. It's not really the fancy, most of the time they have the flip cuff with the pattern, a different pattern on the inside. This one don't have it. It's more of a plain Allen Flusser, but I thought somebody might like this. I mean, it was only, I think a dollar or two dollars at the rummage sale and it is nice condition. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I do like selling men's clothes. I think it's much easier to sell men's clothes because they're not as picky as women. This is a J. Crew factory um, size extra large slim. And this is kind of a flannel type shirt, which I probably should get listed. Um, I did pick this up at the rummage sale and um, it's kind of a, a greenish, a green and a white and a gray color, but it's a really nice shirt. I think somebody might like that. And none of them stink. They don't have a smell. This one is Brooks Brothers, size medium, a Regent. Brooks Brothers can do really, really good. Um, I think it might be hit or miss on the style on those, but I thought this was cute. It's pink with white, white dots, white stars, actually. So that's what the tag looks like. And especially on eBay, it can go pretty good. Next up, we have Aloha Hawaii. I don't know what it is, but every year guys have to get their Hawaiian shirts. So I tried to pick up a couple during the season. This is a large 100% cotton. I don't go overboard because sometimes they don't all go, but I do try to keep a couple stocked. This was from the rummage sale as well. And this is a, uh, I never know how to say that, Mantua, Mantua medium. I, I see the brand all the time. I never know how to say it. Very cute, very lightweight, springy summer with the ruffles, three quarter sleeve. It does have a, um, line. It is lined, really cute, button back. So I thought that was adorable. This is White House Black Market, size medium. I thought this was pretty. I like White House Black Market. Um, when I first started Poshmark, I was selling a lot of White House Black Market. Now I just kind of it's a hit or miss, but I figured for a dollar, I would give it a shot. It is sheer, and that seems to be the style going into spring, summer. It's sheer on the sleeves, but it's lined in the front. So you could get away with not wearing anything under it. It'll just be sheer on the sleeves. And it does have a sort of a, kind of a sparkle to it. I don't know. I don't think the camera's catching it, but it does have like um, metallic threading. It looks like gold threading going through it. I probably won't be able to pick that up on my camera either. So, there we go. 
I don't know if you guys could see that. But I thought that was really pretty. And then this is Fun and Flirt, size medium. I don't know about this brand, but I thought this was a cute little basic with the little ruffle on the front and the hearts. It does have an elastic bottom and adjustable sleeves. So I thought that was cute. For a dollar, I picked it up. Here's another of that Montu thing, just in red with the ruffle sleeve. Same as the black one. <clears throat> or the pink one, actually. And then the last thing that I picked up over there was this untucked Slim Fit Banana Republic men's shirt. No, actually, this was at another thrift store. I've had this for a while, too. But this is nice. Banana Republic. And it has little floral blue, fla blue and white flowers on it. So I thought that was pretty, and I think some man would like it. All right, um, another thing I picked up from that rummage sale is a hard goods thing, and it's a Harley Davidson uh, chrome ignition module cover that is brand new. So I'm sure Holly, Holly, her, Holly, Harley Davidson parts still go on eBay. It's been a while since I've found any or tried, so I can. I guess they would still go. It's got everything in it. It's never been open. Um, this is from another thrift haul. This is uh, Thomas Kincaid. I thought this was really cute. And my husband and I decided that if it's not worth selling, then we're just going to keep it. And I think it's a water fountain. Yeah, it's a waterfall. So it's got the the thing here, the pump. I haven't tried it. I probably should try it. I just don't want water to get in there and stop, be stuck. But I thought that was pretty. And if, if it's not worth selling, then I will definitely keep it and put it in my bedroom. I think that would be nice to run while I'm sleeping at night. And then... found two more Thomas Kincaid items and they're lighthouses. This is one of them and it says the Lord is my light and my salvation and this actually comes off and this is what it looks like. I thought that was really pretty. And then you can put a tea light in here. And then the lighthouse the top goes right on there. So there's that one. And then I got another one. This one says, let your light shine before all. And this is what this one looks like tea light as well. So pretty. I mean, I love Thomas Kincaid. I'm sure there's fans out there that see there's a tea light in there. I'm sure there's fans and they probably won't get much out of it, but like I said, if they don't sell, I don't have a problem keeping these. This would actually look pretty on my fireplace. So, but hopefully they sell because that's why I bought them. And then the last thing I picked up from the rummage sale, they had some violins. The rummage sale was actually like a Christian, it was in a Christian school. So I'm thinking that these violins were probably from band. And I looked at them and looked at them and looked at them. They were not expensive. 
but they did have some issues. Now this is tiny. I mean, this would be for a kid. It says 1 16th violin, home key, the bow is good, it has stickers and tape on it from teaching them how to play. The case is a hard case, which is really, really nice. It's a zip case, as you can see. It has a pocket here, which there's nothing in this pocket. But you keep. I have never sold an instrument before in my life on eBay, but I was willing to give it a shot. I'm all about music. Did I just close it? I just closed it. it must have been open and didn't realize it. Look how tiny this thing is. It's for a little kid. Here's the bow. The bow is in really good condition. Now I have, I used to play bluegrass music and I have a friend who still plays all the time and he plays fiddle. And then I also have a friend who plays banjo and guitar. So they're still in the bluegrass field. They still play every weekend. And I'm thinking about sending them a picture of this so they can give me more information on it. But here's the bow. The bow looks, it's in excellent condition, like it said. There's no strings or anything missing on it. And then here, set this down. Here is the violin. They play fiddle. Look how tiny this thing is. It's for a little kid. But actually sounds like it's in tune. I used to play guitar, so. That is adorable. And it looks like it's in really good condition. And it is uh, German made has the name right in there. I have not did any comps on this yet, um, but I have no idea what anything like this would run, but I wanna learn more information on it, and I'm sure one of my two friends would be able to tell me. And it has the, the tape on there for, I'm sure that was teaching them something. It looks like it's in fabulous condition give you an up close look very very tiny definitely for a kid and most of them were small over there but there was a couple larger ones but there was something wrong with every single one of them almost every single one of them had something wrong this was actually the cleanest one that we've seen and we paid up for this i paid 15 dollars for it so I'm sure I should be able to get way more than that for it because I'm not stupid when it comes to instruments as far as price and stuff go. I used to play guitar and I had a Martin D35 at one point. So I know how much instruments run. But I just thought this was so adorable. And this, it looks like it's in really good condition. So that's all from the haul. I'm just putting this back in here. All right, so that's all that I got from the haul. That's it from the haul. Next, I wanna show you some of the stuff that I got from the mystery box because I did do some comps on it. Okay. Is where I put them. Okay. This was one of the skirts from the haul. Now, if you didn't watch my video, um, I won the Love It or Listed Challenge of $50. And when you win the Love It or Listed Challenge, it's a $50 credit. 
So you have to spend it on Poshmark. There's no way of get the, getting cash for it. So as I said in my video, there was nothing really that I wanted on Poshmark. So I decided I would do a fun box and just for fun. And I thought I would be able to get, you know, some money out of it. Since I couldn't get the $50 from Poshmark, I figured I'd just get a mystery box. I had no idea what was in it. I've never bought from that seller before in my life. And there was a lot of mystery boxes to choose from. So I just went ahead and chose one from her. It said it was over a $200 value in this box. Now, if you watch the video, okay. So anyways, I'm not gonna give it away. But um, I show you everything that I got in that video. It was a total unboxing with my first reaction. And this is a Max Area collection, size 10 skirt. Now I could not find, I found one listed on Poshmark and it was for $20. I could not find any listed on eBay and I could not find any solds. They had it listed for $20, only one. So I'm gonna go ahead and list it. Uh, I'll probably list it for $20 as well but I don't see it selling very quickly. I might be wrong, but $20, I'm not gonna get no more than $20 out of it. So there's that. This dress was in there as well. This is a Karen Stevens. It is a vintage dress, size eight. And I could not find this either. And the Karen Stevens items that I did find sold for 12 bucks. Now I don't do well with dresses as it is, but I mean, I guess if I got 12 bucks for it, that's more than I had before. But I am going to go ahead and list it even though I did not see any solds. So there's that. This one is a Forever 21. It's just a ringer tee. Um, I wasn't excited about this to begin with because Forever 21 is pretty cheap anyhow. I seen a comp for $7. Honestly, I don't even know what's worth, if it's even worth me listing it. Because I only seen like two comps for seven bucks. So I don't know. I mean, it takes time to steam it, because I'm going to steam it, to list it, to take my pictures, to list it, to store it. It takes storage space. And hopefully it sells within a certain amount of time. Okay, this one is Lynn, Gia, and Shop. Now, this is called, it says, The Great Goddess of Rock. And I need your help with this one. Gypsy and the Spell. Am I right? Spell and the Gypsy. Sorry, had that backwards. Sells one just like this for $95. By Spell and the Gypsy. As you can see, this is not Spell and the Gypsy. So I'm thinking this might be a knockoff brand. And if that's the case, I'm not selling it because I don't sell knockoff brands. So if you guys know about this company, 
Lynn, Gia, and Shop, let me know. But like I said, spell in the gypsy. In my research, really quick research, I come across the same shirt. Now I know this is a China brand and they like to do knockoffs. I don't sell the knockoffs. So if you guys agree with me on that one, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if you know something that I don't know, let me know down in the comments below. Because I don't pretend to know everything. And that's why I like to try to do these videos every once in a while, especially if I'm confused or stuck on something. There's a lot of smart people out there that know way more than I do. And I am open to whatever you want to tell me. Because I'm always willing to learn. So that's questionable. Okay. All right, that's it. Everything else in that box, I'm pretty much donating. So, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you know anything about any of these brands and you wanna tell me something that I don't know, I'm happy to listen to you because like I said, I don't pretend to know everything. Um, my fashion is t-shirts and jeans. That's what I do. I'm a small town country girl in Indiana and I don't know big brands and I just grab whatever I gravitate to. I try to keep up with the, the trends and everything, but there's a lot. And selling on eBay, I also sell um, hard goods. So it's impossible to learn everything. And I'm hoping that I can get some of you guys to teach me something. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe and let me know, comment down below any of your thoughts on this stuff. And with that being said, I hope to see you again next time. Bye.